wake up, it's a beautiful morning, sun shining everywhere. Well, it ain't really, but you don't need it for a good morning, do you? <laughs> This morning I've come to a bit of a dilemma. I seem to have a lot of big rocks, you know, big rocks. And I can't cut them on my little four inch tile saw. So what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I mean, some of these really are asking me, can you please cut me open? Well, maybe, maybe. Take a look at this baby. This is an old wood saw. I've had this years, absolutely years. And uh, I've done a lot of wood cutting with it in the beginning, but this last, you know, five, 10 years, it's uh, just sat around doing nothing. And I'm just thinking, you know, should I be uh, turning that into a rock saw? Well, I don't know if you can or not. But we're gonna have a go today. I suppose the first job is to get in there and have a look if I can change the blade. You know, rock saw, you know, stones will not cut on a wood blade. You know, so I'm gonna have to have a quick look round. see the blade and you can see the nut there it's gonna you know come off and you've got to remember that these nuts are a left-hand thread so you know you normally tighten them up that way and undo them that way well it's the opposite for this you're gonna undo it the other now another good little idea is uh, when you're doing this is to get yourself something and trap it in the blade so the blade don't spin. That's opened in, it's got a disc that holds it. Let's try, take the blade out. And there's something to say about the blades is that uh, most blades for a wood saw are a 30 millimeter bore. So that bore there is 30 millimeter. And most, uh, you know, tile saws and grinders and so forth like that are a totally different size of 20 mil, 22 mil, 23 mil. This is 30. Now to find a blade took me ages. And I can only find one company that do me a blade. And, you know, even though my shaft, that's the piece that goes in the middle, is 20 mil, the actual blade sits on here, which is 30 mil. Now, in the future, I might cut that off so I could get a smaller blade and use the, the center bore thing, because the, the blades that I found was only 250 mil big and I really wanted a 300 mil but we've gone forward with it and you know we'll see how it goes but let's show you something about the blades what's important about a blade oh, I don't know I don't know what's important is that you get a blade that hasn't got any cuts in it or any problems with it 
Can you see that? That's just a continuous sort of like diamond piece where it goes round. It's continuous. There's no gaps in it, no thing is. No light if you we're talking about I've got an old blade here. This sort of thing with gaps in. And I'll, I'll also show you a few other blades, you know, to, you know, get you on a situation. They will cut your fingers. They will cut your fingers, no problem. A couple of seconds, your finger will be off. Hopefully, this blade ain't gonna do that. I don't know until I've actually got there. And I'm testing it out, <laughs> it's gonna be a bit of fun. But this has got a 30 mil ball. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, get this, uh, you know, the make and the registration and that, and I'll put it in the, uh, bit below us on the uh, comments and you can then uh, go straight to this site on e eBay that's where I got it eBay another thing about these blades is that they need water you know and this all looks terribly not you know gonna be any good with water but we need to know which way that goes around too which in my eyes is the wrong way. It's got to rotate this way, down. We'll see if it fits the shaft. left-hand thread that looks quite good it's uh, as you can see it comes out the top okay spins okay now we've got this water problem the next job I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this off so I can work out some sort of drainage system for the water to drain back in to a bucket or something underneath so, uh, you know, a little bit of quick movement and we'll have this done. got to fit something that fits down here and lets the water drain away to stop it going near the motor underneath there and I have got an idea if you can see that on the camera but it's an old bucket paint bucket and we're gonna to have to do a bit of testing and trying this out Hey, what's been happening? Uh, I've took all the carriage away from here so I can fit this tire and sort of like watch for the wobbly camera so I can fit this tub in there and hopefully it'll fit nicely to the top and the blade will run in the bottom. This is the carriage and this part is in the way of the uh, trough that I'm trying to build so now I'm just uh, gonna grind it off as you can see I've taken out all the uh, mechanism that was used to iron the blade you know it, it sat in here if I don't know if you remember rightly but I, I took that all out so a I can hire this 
as high as I possibly can and B the, the water trough can fit in nicely without anything pushing it out of alignment well this is the trough or the bucket or whatever you want to call it it's an old paint you know bucket and it's got to fit over the shaft and up the top and as you see this one a bit of luck there but that fits beautifully and what I'm going to do under here is a couple of holes that go through this back plate and a couple of holes up here and I'm going to put some straps to hold this into place and then you can see there's a little gap here I mean it's a lot less than that when I push it up can you see that it's a lot less now and uh, I'm going to sort of like put some tape round here so that the water flows in tape round here and then it all flows in now the next big problem is is how do you put the blade on I don't know if you can see into there but that's where the blade goes luckily there's just enough room to do it by hand There we go, hopefully it fits all good. There's not a great lot of room. Nip it with a spanner. So left hand through so it'll keep tightening itself up. Hold the blade, don't forget it won't cut you, and turn it so it's tight. I won't go over tight on it. Because as I say it's a left hand thread so it'll be tightening itself. Right, I've got the trough in place now. I don't know if you can see that there and two straps going underneath it to hold it so they I don't know how good they are and I put some tape in here so it leaks straight back into the trough the blade runs I'll just give you a quick demo of that sorry for the moving camera the blades run in there I'm going to replace a few bits here. I've got like a, a piece that fits on there and uh, put some water in it and try it. Well, I don't know if I'm going to try it to get the end. I'll, I want to put this big thing on the desk so it sort of stops some water blowing around a bit. So uh, when I finish that, I'll uh, let you have another look. It's like that. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, this piece has got to go back on. And I'll put some screws in there. I've glued this down 
onto the top of the metal and I might put a bit of tape just to make sure it looks tidy and uh, we're a way to go with that and that tiny little screw there is where the water will come up to I'll take that out let it trickle out and put it back in now does it work are we going to get a big flash of lightning and everything go wrong I've got a few stones here I want to try cutting and I'm going to start with this quite small one really I don't know what sort of rock that is but we'll have a look inside and here we go There's a bit of a problem, I can see there's a lot of water, a lot of water leaking down. It's a total nightmare. But in fact, I had a brainwave. What do you reckon? That'll seal it. Pipe insulation. Oh well, we'll see how it goes on there. The moment of truth. Is it still leaking? Well, that looks all right to me. Now to see if it'll cut a stone. Still got the same old stone. Let's have a go. I'm not sure which way to cut it though. Stones of cool. Can you see that better? It's just brilliant that is. I really do like that. I'm hoping that comes out on the camera as much as it is here. But I really do like that. This has got a mockery feel. A bit different, eh? That's sort of a jasper flint. I guessed it from the outside. Another agate you feel. Sort of a blue thingy, but no, no real no markings in it. And I do like this one as well. I reckon that'll polish up nice. 